Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGarGuard.com and in this video we are going to look at using win-loss sparklines in Excel. Now sparklines are a great way of creating a quick visual of your data and positive and negative values can be represented nicely with the win-loss sparklines. So we've got two examples to see in this video. Here's example number one, where we have some sales data for six products, and we're looking at the variance of those sales uh, kind of week on week or month on month, or whatever you want to imagine this may be. Have sales increased or decreased compared to the previous month or week? Now, there's a few different ways of running these sparklines, but one of those ways would be to click in a cell, so if I click in cell G1 here, and I'll click insert at the top, and the spark lines are about two thirds along that ribbon. We have the line, the column, and then the win loss. So if I click on the win loss option here, the location range is set because I decided to click on that first. I could have selected the data range first and done it the other way around. But for the data range, that is the five cells. It can be more than five, by the way. There's no limit, there's no special number. But I've got five months or five weeks worth of values, B1 to F1. If I then click OK, that sparkline is created. And I can always copy that down in much the same way that you would formulas to the other rows in question. And here they are presenting that data as a quick visual with a kind of blue rectangle representing win positive number progress red number representing a kind of loss or negatives decrease now the design tab will appear at the top for your spark lines you can click on any spark line and they'll work as a group and you've got different color options that you can select from different shades we've also got the opportunity to display the higher point with this high point checkbox in a different color which is a nice step and the low point as well and we've also got the opportunity of changing the mark colors so for example i could come into here set the marker color for the higher point as a green for example and then that is displayed see it's turned on my higher point straight away i turned it off a moment ago and that is represented in green i can turn it off and i can turn it on and that's now been displayed in this green color indicating the highest point so there's a few different settings we can choose at the top not that much you know it's not like a, a proper chart and that degree of detail but that is its strength uh, to lack that detail but to provide a quick visual i'm going to turn off that high point now so that i can just see uh, quickly the wins and losses being displayed now let's look at another example of the win-loss spark lines and I wanted to do a sporting example. So on screen I've just captured a quick image of a Premier League table as shown on match of the day. And you can see on the end here how they use something similar to the win-loss spark line to present the last five games as form. Uh, green indicating win red for loss and I've got this kind of grayish color for a draw. Now I want to do a, do a similar thing in Excel using those built-in spark lines. And I've got a league table here that's one of the league tables that I use on my online course where I show people how to automate these as results come in. And I wanted to add a win-loss spark line to this. So there's six games played. I wanted to present the last five games just like that match of the day screenshot. Now on a different tab, I've got recent results just displayed as a D for a draw, W for a win, L for a loss at the moment. But the thing is the spark lines, they can only present positive and negative values. They can't present this text. So what we're going to do first here is I want to quickly put in a simple nested if to show a positive number for a win, negative for a loss. So I wanted to do an example like this, 
not just because I do quite a lot of sports stuff uh, with Excel, uh, sports statistics and analysis, but also because you may deal with data that is in text form. It may be a win and a loss, but it's represented as a word. So you may have to do a similar thing yourself. But with an if function, keep it nice and simple, there are many methods we can use. I'm just going to test the very first cell here and ask if it's equal to a W. I'm keeping this brief. This is not about the if function this video. You can find that somewhere else if needed. But if it is a win, I'm going to put one, a positive number. And if it is not, then test it again. Is it equal to a draw? And if it is, can we put a zero in? comma then I could test it again but for simplicity now I'm going to put minus one so if it's not a W and it's not a D there's only one other thing it can be can we put a negative value in there two close brackets I'll confirm that formula and I'll copy it across four other cells and down nine other cells so that we have a one for a win zero for a draw minus one for a loss and we can present those with our spark lines. So let's go back to the league table sheet. And I'm in cell J2 here next to the team number one. Notice the teams are in the same order as well here, which is essential for this to work. And let me zoom in a tiny bit and insert a spark line, win loss spark line. Location range says as J2, like previous example. Data range is on the recent results sheet, result one to result five. And I'll click OK. And then I'll copy that down. And here we have some win loss spark lines presenting that data in our league table. So where we have this run of wins for Juventus or a nice example here with Andelect with a nice mixture of losses and wins and draws. We can see how that is represented in our league table. Now you notice that draws are not represented here. They're just kind of a gap. So I guess they are represented, just not with a colour, with a gap. Uh, blue for win, red for a loss. On the match of the day image, they actually showed a green for a win. So remember, you can click on any one of these spark lines, visit the design tab and pick a different style. And they do have one for green to win, red for loss. If I choose that one, here we now have it a bit more similar to what the match of the day one looked like. Now using tools like conditional formatting that we may have a bit more control and a bit of kind of flexibility in what we want and how we want it. But this Sparklines feature is a nice quick uh, visual that's very simple to create working from those values on a spreadsheet. Uh, much simpler to put together than some kind of intense conditional formatting rule or something can be. And that is just providing a nice quick visual on uh, the last five results for our football teams here. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel and please come and check us out at computergaga.com.